someone watching me through the window. I just can't. <laughs> This is the new Gucci teapot. It's deluxe, golden, floral, beautiful. And it came with a beautiful cup, teacup. I know you want it, but you can't have it because it's mine, okay? Anyway, I know that you came here because I have a story for you. So, children, go find your carpet, sit on down, cross your legs, and... Okay, we're done now. Children, sit down, cross your legs, fold your hands, and get ready for a crazy story. This story begins uh, several years ago when I was working at a Middle Eastern restaurant. I was working as a line cook and cashier and sometimes the front, like, where we give out, we make sandwiches for customers or shawarma. We put food together like rice and mutabal, hummus, whatever. Anyway, that's kind of relevant to the story. Isn't really important, but that's what I did. So one day I was already feeling like it was just one of those days where you just aren't feeling the best. Long story short, I was just overly emotional. And it ended up showing later on. So, what I did, <laughs> well, what happened was, I get a phone call. Like, I'm eating my lunch, I'm on my break right now. And I get this phone call. And I'm just like, okay. This is an odd phone number, but whatever, I'll answer it. <sighs> that was my mistake. This could have been avoided if I did not answer that phone call. But maybe everything happens for a reason, because maybe if it didn't happen, then I wouldn't know. But it this thing has been happening so much that I feel like someone would have told me by now. Although I, someone should have told me then. But then again, like no one has to tell me anything. Like it's not like anyone is obligated to tell me. But at the same time, I should have known this thing. <sighs> Anyways, so I am sitting on the stairs in the back of the restaurant eating my food. Then I answer the phone call 
and I hear this guy answer the phone and he's like, hi, are you Tanika Anderson? And I'm like, what the heck? What are you? Like, who is this? And they said, I'm calling because the police are after you because you did not file your taxes properly. You made a mistake and now you are being charged and fined for what you have done. The cops are on their way, ready to arrest you. So naturally, I start panicking. It starts out very small. First, it starts out with confusion. And I'm just like, what? This doesn't make sense. But then I start overthinking. And all these thoughts run through my head. Like, oh my god, I just filed my taxes. Oh my gosh. This was my first time filing my taxes on my own. Well, that was the first time I ever filed taxes. Oh my God, my life is over. Oh my gosh. What am I gonna do? I can't go to jail, I'm too young. I, I, I didn't even start life yet. What am I gonna do? What the heck? What am I gonna say? I'm never gonna see my family again. Oh my god, I'm like I'm never gonna I'm never gonna enjoy life. I'm never gonna travel. What the heck am I gonna do? I'm never gonna be able to swim in a pool again. I'm never gonna be able to become a amazing artist and And then I start bawling. And I don't mean just bawling. I mean, I start shrieking. Shrieking. And I'm gonna remind you that I am in the stairs in the back in a mall where people can hear me screaming. People thought I was dying. People thought that someone in my family died and I was going crazy. So my coworkers come to the back, uh, or my one coworker, he comes to the back and he's like, Tanika, what's wrong? What happened? I'm just like, And then my coworker comes. Tanika, what's wrong? Tell me what's wrong. Who's on the phone? Tell me what's wrong. Tanika, you have to tell me what's wrong. Give me your phone. Okay. <laughs> they said they're gonna arrest me. They said that I did something. I don't know what I did. I, I, I just don't understand. They said because I did something with my taxes and I just filed my taxes. <laughs> and they said that they said <laughs> they said that they, they, they said that I was gonna go to jail. <laughs> they said I was gonna go to jail. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Tanika, give me your phone. Give me your phone. <laughs> no. 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 Tanika, give me your phone. Let me talk to this guy. Fine. Yeah, hello? I don't know who you are. You are messing with my friend. Who are you? Who are you? Who the hell are you? Hello? 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 he hung up and it ended up being fake this guy was just trying to play a prank with his friends and actually tried to scam thousands of dollars for me but luckily my coworker was there to make me not do something so Stupid. <laughs> so you're telling me, you're telling me that, you're telling me that someone was trying to play me? You're telling me that this was a hoax? You're telling me that this was fake? And I thought that I lost my life? Because somebody was trying to scam me? Telling me that I need to give them $4,000 right now and that the cops are on their way to cuff me and the only way to get out of it is to give them four thousand dollars and i need to tell them where i live and my name so that they can do a check on And that was all a scam? Well, I thank you for dealing with my stupidity and ignorance and obliviousness because that was a much unneeded tantrum of hysteria. But I sure did make everyone laugh because I had the whole restaurant worrying about me thinking, what the heck is happening? Is someone dying? No, it's just a little girl being ignorant of scammers in the world. It ain't your time. It's story time. It's not your time. So, after that, I calmed down and I had a lot of people support me. Like, they, even though I gave them a good laugh, they actually cared. And it was good to know that they actually cared about me. Even though I went a little crazy, but 
that is basically my story on I don't even know what to call it how I almost got scammed four thousand dollars and got told that I was gonna go to jail and I actually believed it because I knew nothing at the time and I was just terrified because I thought that I lost my life yeah um hopefully for anyone who has never gotten a call from a weird lady or a machine hopefully now you know that these are scams if you see a weird number don't answer it 99.9 .9 of the time it's most likely someone trying to scam you or scare you or get your money when you do not owe them anything and um yeah just be mindful of who you're talking to don't just give out information willingly obliviously naively if that's a word um just do research talk to someone i did not want to talk to my coworker. I don't know why he was just trying to help he was just caring and I was just like pushing him away telling him no I'm trying to deal with it myself I'm a big girl but no I was being a little girl not trying to get help not trying to educate myself on the situation or get help because I needed it because I was a mess and yeah so yeah more of the story just don't believe everything you hear. Don't trust everything you see. Do your research. Talk to someone. Um, don't completely terrify yourself on something that may not be true. Because it is not worth the migraine. It is not worth the headache. It's not worth the crazy heart racing and the wanting to just escape or something but as you have it that was the tea join me next time for more crazy stories with Tanika and like subscribe Hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video. And also hit up my Instagram at Tanika and at Tanika Draws. That is my drawing account to see what I'm up to. I literally cannot do a full video without sounding completely normal. I just have to make my voice morph into something into a weird character or something i don't really know anyways that was tea time with me um stay classy and have fun stay positive because you are beautiful and handsome and intelligent and I will see you in the next video bye